Alright guys, I'm going to be showing you how to run the lamps as a hunter. Um, there's some things you want and some things you don't want. So hopefully you guys have a relatively decent setup. Um, you can see right now I'm at 34, so obviously I'm doing this after the update. But um, it still works prior to the update. 34 just makes it quite a bit easier. And actually I'm not even going to be 34, I'm going to be 33 because I'm going to be switching some gear over here. So this is the biggest thing you want as a hunter if you don't have this you should get it if you can't get it um, I'm sorry but uh, no, don't touch me don't take or uh, taking damage from a melee attack makes you briefly invisible this thing can save your life when you're running the lamps uh, the other thing you're gonna want is to know the route uh, there is a shortcut in the route that on normal it's not really required but on heavy it'll uh, it'll save your life uh, you're gonna want to be blade dancer and this is a setup I use. You can really use whatever you want, but um, this is this is where I go. So um, go with the high jump. Obviously, jump doesn't matter here. Vanish for your blade dancer. Escape artist. Blink striking causes your uh, visibility to come up, and then you want to get your agility as high as possible. Throw your shadow jack on. Increase your duration of your ability and stalker when you crouch you go invisible so agility is pretty much maxed out I could go a little bit higher if I went with uh, the slide but I'm not gonna go with fleet footed because I would much rather have longer invisibility um, armor and recovery a little bit low but hopefully you don't get hit too hard now I am doing this on normal so I'm not gonna take as much damage but uh the run's pretty much the same. Biggest thing that you could do for you is um, have you know at least one other person with you. Have them stay a little bit behind you to pull aggro, and then you use them as a buffer to take off. Once you leave them in the dust, um, the thrall are going to be all over you, and it's going to be your problem. But initially, you know they'll help you out. They'll help you get at least a little bit away from the thrall. So, we're going to go ahead and we're going to run this. Um, sorry, I just got a message from a friend who's doing the nightfall. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and run this. Uh, pay close attention to the lamps. I'll try to count them off as we're going. Um, and yeah. So the first thing you want to do is go invisible. This is going to give you the biggest boost. Uh, it'll allow you to get to about the second lamp before you come back up. Don't have to worry about anything. Yeah, so there's second lamp. I got meleeed. No big deal. No backup plan or backup plans on. So and that's the beauty of the hunter. You'll notice I have nobody chasing me. I have next to no light of darkness. And here it comes back a little bit. Got melee. So bastards. So this is fifth lamp right here. So you guys know. And you're going up this hill here. This is your sixth lamp. So at sixth lamp, you're gonna hang a hard left if you don't know this shortcut route. Hang out here a little bit and lose some weight. There's the throw. Alright. You're going to come right over the top here. Now you have to be careful because you can't fall off here. But you just follow it, wrap around, and you just skipped three or four lamps. I can't remember exactly, but you can see nobody's caught up to me yet. They are on their way though. <clears throat> but by the time they get to you, you've got them visible again. Uh, you can and should use this route no matter what character you're running unless you're doing the Titan cheese where you're jumping on the wall at the second lamp. Other than that, if you're running the Warlock or Hunter, you should be using that route because that is the quickest route. On hard mode, it pretty much is going to be the thing that saves you. So, there's your point strike. Okay, we'll go ahead and crouch right on the other side of him here. And 
coming to the top of the hill here. So I'm not going to go for that lantern. I'm going to leave it there. Temporary pop there. Alright. Now the ogre plate is popped. So, go ahead and jump up on this rock here. Try to get to the far side. It's the rock right off to the side of this thing. And then we're going to go ahead and switch to a sniper rifle. Set to go up. And then move back to the middle of the rock. You don't want to stay too far to the left because it's all going to catch you. But um, as a hunter, I mean, you can blink in and out, so it's not really a huge difference. And then there's our ogre buddy, so we're gonna go ahead and pop him. You have an icebreaker, icebreaker, scraper. I don't want to switch it because I got the gal over now, so. And that ogre's down. And then from there, we are just standing out. Um, now, the reason we go with the Blade Dancer Super. Is hard mode, over is a little bit harder. Um, so you're, I mean, if you get him quick, you can kill him. But um, you need to bail off the rock. You know, you try to crouch as much as possible. You use your blink strike, you use your no backup plans, but you can use your super. Go invisible, stay invisible for almost the entire duration of your super. And then use your super again right before you use the invisibility right before your super clears out. And uh, you'll be good to go. So path forward is clear. I'm going to finish out this little run here. Get to the next checkpoint for the next video. I'm not going to get any rewards because I've already done this on normal and hard. So I'm just doing this for the thumbsies right now. So we got a lot of friends. They're all here. <clears throat> they don't like me. Thanks for watching. Watch some of my other videos. Tell me how terrible I am at making videos. That kind of thing. Hope you guys enjoyed.